Welcome to Bashar's Inside Channel. Today I will talk about the energy band alignment or energy band structure. So uh, now I can move on the sketch on the software. Uh, you uh, can see this. Uh, uh, these uh, are the sketch on the um, action panel. Uh, now first uh, ensure that there is light mode. Then you can also see there is V1 to V2 and these are uh, safe zone to 2.0 volt and after uh, uh, this open circuit voltage 2 volt and here is the number of point uh, there are, are increment by 0 0.02 so uh, this is our initial steps and you can just click IV characteristics because uh, you are now uh, create a band structure or band alignment okay uh, then uh, create set problem so uh, today I uh, just create about the band structure or band alignment so I just assume that uh, you are doing this part uh, earlier um, uh, just load it uh, if uh, you are not uh, create this part earlier just add is clear uh, here uh, I use the right contact uh, in there so uh, just I initially uh, told you that if two layer as a substrate layer and tungsten disulfide use as a uh, window layer then a cesium tin bromide use as a absorber layer and vanadium pentoxide use as a BSF layer okay uh, then just click here uh, also ensure that uh, is clear you just add the absorption file it's so much important uh, but uh, uh, I will not mention this uh, video uh, what is the reason uh, between reason this adding this file I just uh, told you uh, please add this absorption file is an every layer okay now uh, I just uh, calculate single shot T here then you can see the sketch on this software are working uh, after completing working you just look at the open circuit voltage when released uh, at the end fellow then just comment sections are linking so you just click show data okay here is the standard input output panel and now you are just copy all the values and starting with the I part then just copy this it's just so much careful about copy Okay, now we are in here and we are using keyboards control C not right click and copy this just use the keyboard control C okay and then uh, we are go to the Excel file for uh, uh, for uh, uh, storage this data and we can open an Excel file and then paste the all data okay now uh, what uh, we want to do we just click C and just delete it because we are not need all the data for band alignment so we can just select B C D and F okay we copy this uh, we are using uh, the band alignment graph uh, we are plotting in origin software so I click it
then you can just open it and it look like this you just paste your data okay then uh, you can just copy this copy or cut this value and paste here okay then just remove this empty line or delete okay now uh, for uh, creating band alignment graph you just copy all the data and click plot and then click line you can also uh, see in the basic 2d then click here line okay now it's the initial stage uh, uh, now uh, you are doing for the better looking okay uh, i just mentioned you earlier first steps are i uh, using uh, bsf layer then absorber layer and then i use window layer and ft layer okay uh, now you can see uh, in the right side x axis are showing at the thickness and here is the a uh, long range so just i click here and then click scale okay i use uh, to 0 to 1.25 because uh, i use uh, nitrogen dioxide copper oxide as okay i use b205 hydrogen pentoxide as a bsa player and here uh, this thickness uh, use as a 100 uh, nanometer and then uh, using absorber layer thickness as a um, thousand nanometer and then window layer and uh, thickness as a hundred nanometer and then if you layer thickness as a 50 nanometer so total are 1.25 micrometer okay just uh, you can apply this and you uh, can see here this are chains in your main graph Okay, now we are working some things like vertical region. Click vertical region and we are starting minus 2.5 to 3. Mm, mm, that's why uh, yeah, I just um, uh, said about the, the next few minutes. Okay, uh, then click here and just you can if you can see the figure then you just click ok and you just see the steps of figure are working okay now our uh, something more work will be uh, complete then you just click here and just click title you uh, in uh, our x-axis we are using thickness and here is micrometer now you can also change the font size as times new roman if you need then click here and your size you want as you required then you click the line and text first you click the same options top and bottom uh, that's why uh, our same work are completed uh, for bottom and top side then uh, you can change the thickness for better suitability if you uh, want then click in then here is the measure for thickness like 15 and use use as you were required then apply okay uh, i also change my left side and right side so same thing i change it Okay, you can see the change of what and I also click here, it's energy electrohot. I just mentioned this for better suitability. You can also change curve from this times new Roman if you need. <coughs> okay, and now this figure look like this and now our the major working here you just click one line and you can see there are independent and dependent group first dependent group here and you just click a line and then 
just y dot increase in height as your required increase three. Okay. Then uh, just click here and ungroup this and first we are changing uh, the red color and blue color for dashes line because if I click here then you, uh, I can see uh, which color are this okay this color are these types of color uh, then we are just change number two red color uh, because the red color is the quasi fermi level for electrons and we are just uh, straight line or solid dashes for better suitability okay and we change the blue color blue color is the number three then you can just click here and dash okay blue color okay and then we just add this for better suitability I click here then just rewrite this okay and this I just mentioned this uh, the black color is EC vector and black color mention the conduction band energy and as well as the green color is the balance band energy and red color represent dashes line which are the quasi fermi level for electrons and are uh, some blue color dashes blue color are represent quasi fermi level holes okay now you can also add uh, the uh, band uh, uh, band gap uh, mentioned here so you just take text and click here if this and this areas band gap are uh, 1.5 or 2.5 or 3.5 you just mention here so uh, i know that this is a player uh, v2 o5 for uh, this uh, the band gap is 2.20 so i mentioned this <coughs> You can just click this and uh, if you want to just a uh, small size then you can just click here then you just indicate which are the area which are the range of band gap just click here and then click here Okay, you just if you want to just uh, uh, color this line also, you just click double click and then white as uh, you need, then apply. Okay, okay. Here is uh, your uh, required band structure. Then you just click uh, create the band structure uh, for uh, following my videos. And you just uh, know about this and uh, how band structure are uh, incorporate this uh, solar cell. Because band structure you understand how energy level align and you can also understand electron and holes behavior. Because this is are the main reason for the improving efficiency stability uh, of the solar cell performance okay thank you for all